greetings and welcome everyone to this news video. I am the Ninjaneer and the topics, we're to uh, bleh, the topics we're covering today are as follows. Aptera at Pebble Beach. New perovskite mix shows promise. Gaussian had a successful funding round. And things that I liked. Let's get started. So Aptera put out a press release um, some time ago that said that they were going to attend the Pebble Beach Automotive Week. Um, I believe it's called the Couture de Elegance. Let me see. What did, let me see if I got it. Contours, Concours, Concours, Concours de Elegance. Broski. Foreign languages are not my strength. I'm sorry. Anyway, um, Basically, what Aptera has done here is they've gone out there to uh, get more exposure. Um, they're going to a lot more um, automotive places to get in touch with people and see, uh, have people see their wonderful vision for the future. Um, they have kept a lot of their uh, progress and things like that on, a, um, on their Instagram page. Uh, they've posted a lot of reels and um, updates and things like that over the course of this weekend or that that weekend. Um, let's see here. According to uh, the website, this is the 73rd uh, year that they've held this particular event. So yeah, man, it's uh, pretty neat uh, to click through the website and see all the cool things that happened there. And uh, it was a pretty legit looking auto show, so uh, the fact that Aptero was there is only going to raise their exposure and bring more people into the fold of excited Aptera folk. Um, on that note, uh, I'm noticing like a, a small uptick in the number of trolls that have uh, started to uh, congregate in the uh, X posts and things like that that uh, Aptera puts up. Um, I don't know if that's a function of Aptera getting more popular or if it's a function of um, or if it's a function of just Twitter getting uh, more inundated with trolls. I, I do not know. Uh, what I do know is that it is uh, starting to uh, reach the levels more so that uh, you see in any other uh, automotive company, which in my opinion is both a good and a bad thing because good in that there are people that are more uh, willing to engage with Aptera content, the bad being of course that th those people engaging are trolls. Um, yeah man, uh, it's just something I noticed, that's not really a story or anything, it's just observations. Alright, there is a perovskite tandem solar cell based on tin and lead that is achieving a 28.8% efficiency. Uh, one of the things that uh, perovskites are known for is having a fairly high solar uh, conversion efficiency, and that's what this number is uh, right here. Um, the downside of them is that they are really prone to being uh, basically destroyed by the sun's rays, which is something that you probably don't want when you're talking about a solar panel that's going to be exposed to the sun at all times. Uh, what makes this story interesting and why I decided to talk about it is that they are developing a perovskite cell that is much more resilient, much more resistant to the sun's rays, and so hopefully that will mean that the... Um, that the solar panels that come from these perovskites will eventually be a viable product for uh, long-term solar cell use and be more efficient at the same time. Uh, I do not know how this technology is going to progress, but so far it seems like it's doing a pretty good job of getting out uh, of the laboratory and into the real world. Um, they have tested it in a couple of different places, but the degradation is uh, way too fast for it to be a viable product and uh, like I said this particular company uh, well, Sorry not company. Sorry uh, the, the this particular set of researchers in the University of Toronto uh, Have made a perovskite cell that seems to be more resilient to um, Sunlight which is great for a solar panel You may not have heard of this company before because I hadn't heard of it until like a month and a half to two months ago. 
uh, they are a company that is trying to raise money in order to uh, become a thing. Um, essentially, their concept is making batteries that charge faster uh, and producing infrastructure that can support that faster charging. Um, there's not a lot of information on their website at this time, but I do believe that if their uh, batteries come to fruition, if their charging infrastructure comes to fruition, then they will be uh, very helpful in the transition to EVs, considering the fact that one of the very, very few downsides to uh, an EV over an ICE vehicle is that they are slower to uh, fill up at a gas pump. Uh, a gas pump, electron pump, we'll say electron pump. They're slower to fill up at an electron pump than what a gas car is at a gas pump. So yeah, if we can overcome that hurdle, there's literally no reason why adoption can be pretty much universal uh, for most applications. All right, now for the first thing that I liked, uh, there's this gentleman by the name of Miles who is uh, kind of spearheading the autofocus channel now. He is doing a fantastic job, by the way, because they are doing uh, a lot of different types of vehicles that are uh, indicative of a car channel. One of them is the Rimac Nevera R. Uh, it is an electric vehicle that is more or less uh, stupidly fast. It has the fastest uh, fastest acceleration for a car of this type, a production car that is a, a supercar. Um, it has a lot of interesting features. It has a very large uh, carbon fiber uh, piece that makes up most of the front end of the vehicle. There's a, just a whole bunch of really cool little things in here that kind of reminded me of Aptera. Uh, the uh, striking look, the all-electric nature, the uh, what looks like to be an absolute hoot to drive, um, according to a couple of people that have had the chance to uh, ride in the regular ne Rimac Nevera, uh, the regular Rimac Nevera. Wow, I got tongue tied there. Uh, it seems like a fun car. It seems like a efficient car. Well, as efficient as a 2,000 horsepower car can be, and um, yeah, just a lot of really interesting things about this car came out in this video, and uh, yeah, it's one of the things I liked. So there was a panel discussion where uh, Steve from, uh, well, sorry, his name is Steve Fambro from uh, Aptera was a, a guest in attendance, and the topic was more or less the future of land transportation and how it is moving towards electric and all that kind of stuff. It's uh, a very interesting panel. The only problem that I found with it was there was a really, really weird uh, set of issues with sound. Uh, every so often, somebody would like cut out completely, and they were like, basically they were trying to figure out the sound situation, and they did get it figured out. But it was like two thirds of the way through the presentation. Uh, if you can get through the sound faux pas, then uh, it was actually a very good presentation, uh, a very good discussion, and all of the gentlemen that were in attendance were very good at uh, conveying their points, but I noticed that uh, Steve Fambro did an above and beyond job of conveying both the message and the uh, mission of getting electric vehicles to be solar and um, light and efficient and that kind of stuff. So yeah, very good panel, very interesting panel. It was uh, put up by Aptera Owners Club uh, and it was one of the things that I liked. All right, last but not least, there was a video by Drive the Lightning that talked about uh, CEOs of automotive companies and um, two CEOs in specific um, that are doing a great job of uh, conveying the message that we need to transition to smaller, more efficient electric vehicles to make that uh, that whole vehicle thing more sustainable. Um, yeah, very good video. A lot of insight for a, what, a three-minute video? A, th a three-and-a-half-minute video. A lot of insight, a lot of fun. Um, and we get to find out a little bit more about uh, the Drive the Lightning team in that we now know uh, 
one of their favorite comedians of all time. At any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. That will be the end of this video. I am the Ninjineer. If you'd like to like and or subscribe or do the other youtube -y things, please do those things with the links all around me. Uh, thank you so much again and have a great rest of your day.